what's up guys my name is Loki, and i welcome you guys back again to this tutorial section guys in today's video guys i'll be showing you step by step process on how to actually approach and fix a laptop that is having a display issue or no sign of life on the screen now in the case of this uh, pavilion 14 that i have here with me whenever i press the power button after some time i will get a three blink led light on the caps lock key followed by the fan spinning and after that nothing again happens no sign of life on the screen now at the point of fixing this problem guys i actually decided to make out a tutorial video to show you guys how to approach and fix this kind of problem i'll be showing you four possible method to fix this problem so all you need to do is just to follow it in the order in which they are being presented to avoid further complications to your laptop all right so without further ado guys now let's get started with today's video guys Alright, so step one would be to perform a full power drain on the laptop. Now, performing a full power drain on the laptop would actually drain and discharge all the residual power in the motherboard of the laptop, right? So the first thing to do here is to first turn off the laptop. Unplug the power cable if you have it connected to the system. Now take out the laptop battery, if yours is inbuilt, find a way to unscrew the back of the laptop and remove the battery from the system. After removing the battery, then press and hold the power button for like 20 seconds. This will actually discharge all the residual power in the motherboard. After 20 seconds is over, try to pull back the pull back the battery again. And then try to power on the laptop again and see if it works. So if the first step did not work for you, then you should proceed to the second step. Guys, the second step would be to clean the RAM sticks on your laptop, right? Now, a dirty RAM stick can actually interfere with the display signal, which makes it difficult for the computer to recognize and read RAM memory on your system. So the first thing to do is to locate the right RAM placement at the back of your laptop. Then when you have located where the RAM is located, then you should try and remove the single RAM. If there are two sticks, you should try and remove the both of them. Then you should lay the RAM stick on a clean flat surface and use a pencil eraser to erase both the front and the back side of the RAM memory. After that, then you should return the RAM stick and the power on the laptop again and see if that works. All right, so if the first so if the if the first method did not work and the second method did not work guys then you should proceed to the third method guys so the third method here would be to swap the ram into a different slot now in the case of this laptop that i have here with me now i have one ram stick on one ram slot so i will go ahead and uh, take out the ram and uh, put it in another ram slot to check if the problem would be resolved all right so if you have two ram installed on a different ram slot on your laptop so now all you need to do is just to try changing the both ram on different slot to see if the problem would be fixed so after changing the ram into another slot try to power on the laptop again and see if that works So guys, if that method still doesn't work, then you should proceed to the very last step. 
So the last but not the least here is to change the RAM stick, guys. A bad RAM stick could actually constitute to this kind of a display issue. So all you need to do is just to ensure that you get the right RAM that is configured to work on your laptop. Like in my own case here, this system is making use of a PC4. It's making use of PC4 or DDR4. So all I need to do, I already have a replacement RAM which I just bought. So all I need to do is just to replace the old one with the new one which i just have and try and see if that problem could be resolved all right so i'll go ahead and then remove the old ram and put the new ram which i just bought So after putting the RAM, then I'll go ahead and turn on the laptop again. Alright guys, so as you can see, the laptop just came on now. So as you can see, this problem, in the case of this laptop, the problem is as a result of a bad RAM stick. If you have followed the first step and the problem on your own laptop still exists, then you should consult a close by engineer for further troubleshooting and diagnosing on your laptop all right so guys that brings us to the end of today's video guys if you enjoy watching today's video guys i would like you to give this video a thumbs up and comment in the comment section and don't forget to subscribe if today is your first time of coming across our youtube channel with that being said guys see you in the very next tutorial bye for now